This is the Best Syndication News Broadcast for February 12, 2009. With all the space junk in orbit around Earth, a collision was inevitable. And a major satellite crash did occur over Siberia, Russia, on February 10, 2009. Scientists are using a powerful military radars to monitor over 600 pieces of debris that resulted from the collision. The satellites were traveling at incredible speeds when they collided. Their Radium-33 and Cosmos-2251 satellites, owned by Iradium Satellite LLC and the Russian Space Forces respectively, were each traveling about 6 miles per second. There was an incredible momentum on the impact. The American satellite was part of 66 communication satellites owned by a consortium headed by Motorola. NASA says that since the International Space Station ISS, is orbiting at 270 miles, the debris field should not be a threat to shuttle launch later this month. Discovery's STS-119 mission to the International Space Station had originally been targeted for February 12th, but is now scheduled for the 22nd or later. The Interfax News Agency in Russia is reporting that Mikhail Martyrsov, a scientist in Russia's Mission Control Center, says the full threat from the wreckage will become obvious next week after they calculate the trajectory of the fragment's descent. This has been a Best Indication News broadcast. Remember to subscribe to our videos.